Hey guys, it's Clint. I'm uh, still uh, on this business trip. So I'm gonna make this video again, uh, just sort of on my laptop, but uh, there's, yeah, there's a view outside. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting through this. I wanna talk about the Marvel comics uh, and DC comics, the industry that we know it right now, changing forever. Uh, a lot of people said, said it's dying. Screen Rant is uh, defending <laughs> them now and I, so I don't necessarily disagree with Screen Rant however I do disagree too and I think it is a matter of semantics um, but it's also a blatant matter of Screen Rant is really really trying to put a positive spin on the scenario where I don't think you know Marvel and DC deserve a, a positive spin in this example uh, so I'm going to get into into their article just want to show you in case you haven't seen this yet this is going to be the print for downcast this is only going to be on some of the reward tiers uh, if you're interested in it please sign up for the mailing list okay so this is a two-page article from screen rant and i've already seen before screen rant likes to defend dc and marvel uh, they, they defended the marvel cinematic universe over captain marvel <laughs> some of the bad decisions that they made uh with the movie but I don't know. I don't. I don't see why they have this need to defend the comic book industry. So they actually went through this uh, this entire article outlining all of the major major problems that are happening right now in comic books. But then they come to the the conclusion that it doesn't none. Of, it doesn't matter. Things are just changing, and you know, no need to be worried because no publishers are going to go out of business. Well, for everybody watching this go down in real life, it's obvious that something has got to change. It, it is not sustainable the way that things are going right now. Uh, so they start out, if you read the headlines, you might firmly believe that the comic book industry is in a state of total imminent crisis. Uh, but they're they're going to disagree with that. So the, the thing is, it, when we say the industry that is in crisis, things are dying or the industry is dying, we're actually talking about the current industry that exists as is. That doesn't mean that the medium is dying, okay? So I actually, I disagree with Screen Rants here um, in that they're saying that the industry is going to be fine. Uh, I think the medium is going to be fine, but a new comic industry is evolving and the one that currently exists is dying. People are losing their jobs, they're losing their businesses, and publishers are going to have to adapt. They're going to have to completely change. Uh, so it really, it really is dying. There's there's a serious problem here. Doesn't mean that comics are going to go away. They're always going to exist. Um, okay, so he went through some of the the evidence here. The, why people are so worried. He brings up Brian Hibbs and the state of the industry address. There were a lot of valid concerns that Brian Hibbs brought up. I don't think he had uh, enough answers i still think there's this like idea that you got to cling on to what wasn't working in the industry uh in my opinion that needs to be left aside you can't cling on to it because that's not going to get any better uh are comic book sales declining yes they are they they've changed uh it, it's been the third year in a row of losses for comics and they can make up for the numbers by raising the price on comics that that's not a good thing. Could you imagine watching movies and they, and they uh, you know, added on twenty percent price increases year over year? Uh, that's that's a massive problem. That's going to drive people away from movie theaters, which is exactly what comic the comic book industry is doing here. And now, so I'm not disagreeing here. Then with this article, they outline the problems. Uh, they're saying things that are true. But the conclusion is so off base. That's what I don't understand. Uh, let's see. We're still, he's even admitting it's worse. We're still, industry figures have suggested that a solid 90% of stock that comes off the shelves has zero value as an archived back issue. That's right. As soon as a comic book has been on the shelf for more than a week, <laughs> its, its value decreases to almost nothing for, for comic book retailers. Uh, it's just dead weight. It's something they can't sell back. They can't return. It's dead weight. And they could lower the price for a pittance. 
uh, but they're not going to make their money back. They're already at a loss. It doesn't matter what they do. Okay, this is another great point. I you know, I hadn't exactly thought of, but a totally great point on why the industry is suffering. No one is looking for a three issue miniseries six months removed unless it features a new character and there's a rumor circulating about his or her inclusion in a movie that was possibly greenlit. That's right. The sales, okay, the sales that they have right now are based off the fact that their comic book movies are crushing it. The films are making the industry right now, and yet the sales are so bad for the books. Can you imagine what it would be like if comic book movies were out, if none of that was going on? It's insane to think about because a lot of the there there's definitely a lot of purchases that are based off of a financial reward. There's a you know, and I have nothing wrong with collecting. Collecting comics is great. It's hoping that uh, your collection is going to, I, I don't know, that's driving the industry is, is collecting because of numbers. Uh, now, obviously, there are still a lot of people that buy comics because they enjoy reading them and they, they genuinely enjoy them and that's okay. It's okay to collect. Um, but that is, that is a problem that there is, it is definitely being driven, a lot of it anyway, has been driven by the movies. Okay, uh, here's another quote here. I fervently believe that the economics of comics publishing simply no longer allows smallish neighborhood comic shops to be successful. That is scary that comic book retailers feel that way, that there's no way to uh, you know, be profitable in this business. And a lot of that is Diamond's fault. They go through that. We totally agree. A lot of these issues uh, are happening because of distribution, because the way that the market is currently set up page two of this thing. Um, so, okay, we'll, we'll start here from the top. In order to purchase a comic, a prospective reader has to go out of their way to find a local comic book retailer that happens to stock the book they're interested in. This kind of approach, uh, approach poses significant barriers to casual readers who are thinking of dipping their toe into comics. Exactly, they don't make it easy. This is why for a crowdfunding campaign, actually, you're getting an entry point. People can can get online. They don't have to. They don't need anything else. I guess they, they're having an entry point, and that kind of position is working. That's why there's so many. You know, Comicsgate is doing so well at the same time that the direct market is suffering. Um, yeah. So a lot of the ways that were set up, I agree with all this stuff. I'm going to get down to his disagreement because this is where uh, it it doesn't makes sense. It, this is the part that doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, okay. He says, whoever works out the right approach first will surely become the market leader. Uh, so far, nobody's been trying. DC has been doing some stuff here. It says, but there will inevitably be real consequences for comic book shops if the publishers find a new model that works more effectively in the present. It's likely to become their main sales channel going forward. This will increase the pressure on retailers who, again, need to either adapt or close up shop. That will be the future. Uh, that will be the future holds if and when that happens. Uh, well, readers will have to wait and cross that bridge. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. Yeah, it's going to have to change for comic book retailers. We agree there. Um, so, man, I was just looking at this article, and now uh, I swear it was right at the end. <laughs> he said, does this mean that the industry is dying? No, because he thinks that they're going to be, uh, you know, sticking around for a while. Um, I, d I totally disagree with that. I think that the industry as we know it is is dying that doesn't mean that the medium is dying those are two separate things so he did point out that sales for graphic novels is actually increasing uh, but those sales aren't happening through local comic book shops i agree things need to change with local comic shops um, but i don't see any way of them resurrecting the current industry that we have right now so i'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments below what needs to happen to fix fix things to fix this now and uh 
why does Screen Rant find the need to put a positive spin on it? Let me know and I will talk to you later.